Uh, hello friends, today in this tutorial I'll be showing you that how to compare the elements of two arrays inside vanilla javascript. So we will be using the first approach as a for loop and the second approach will be json stringify method. So this will be a simple tutorial in order to compare the elements of two arrays whether they are equal or not. So you can see it will contain two files index.html and main.js. So this is the index.html file here. So simply I will just write here compare two elements, compare elements of two arrays. So now we just need to include the script file which is main.js inside the index.html file. So we have successfully included it. Now we can close this file. So this is the business logic of the application main. Sorry, this needs to be main.js. So we have successfully included this. So first I will be showing the way by which we are using the for loop for comparing it to compare elements of two arrays whether they are equal or not. So these elements can be floating type, integer type or string type. So this is not limited to only number. So if you want to get all the source code that I will use inside this video, the link will be there inside video description. This is a first approach by using for loop. This is the first article that I've given the link in the video description. The second article uses the json.stringify method. This is a built-in method of JavaScript to compare the elements of two arrays. So let me just show you the two ways. First of all, let me declare the two arrays which are array 1. So first we will compare the numeric arrays 45, 56, 60, 78. And the second array variable array 2. So this will be 45, 56, 78, 77 and 89. So as you can see all the 5 elements are equal here. You can see 45, 45, 56, 56. So you can just compare it and you can just see these uh, two arrays are equal. Now we will do it programmatically using a JavaScript program which will tell whether these arrays are equal or not. So first I will be using the approach which is let me declare the method here which is compare array. So this will be taking the two array which will be passed as argument array1 and array2. So simply we need to call this function here which is compare array. We need to pass it array1 and array2. So now we need to define this function here. So as I already told you this we will be using the for loop here. So first of all we need to get the length of uh, array here respective array so we need to put a if condition here so we will check it like this array 1 so there is a length property dot length here which will be computing the length of the array so basically if I just console log it just to show you array 1 dot length so this will print the length of the first array how many elements are there so if I just uh, If I make use of alert statement instead of console log just to see. So it will say 5 because you can just count here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 elements are there. If I increase it to 6 here now it will see if I refresh here 6 elements are there. So basically it will tell how many elements are there. So we are just computing it inside the if condition here. So if array 1 dot length is not equal to array 2 dot length so basically this if statement is comparing the length of the two arrays here so if it if it contains uh, let's suppose the first array contains five elements and the next array contains six elements in this scenario here so as you can see it contains six elements here so in that scenario we just need to we can also say inside the alert statement that uh, arrays are not equal so if I just say this you will see if I refresh the application it will say arrays are not equal. So this is the first approach. We can also return a boolean value as well which is a very simple process just return false here. So basically when we call the function we can just surround this inside a if statement here. So, so if the value is comes out to be true then we can say inside the alert statement that arrays are equal 
and if it is false inside the else block here we will say in the alert statement that arrays are not equal so like this so now if I refresh the application you will see arrays are not equal because it is ret uh, returning the boolean value which is false and inside this if statement this value is false so this else block is executed here so which says arrays are not equal so this is the first scenario which we have done we are comparing the length of the array if the length is not equal then we simply returning false here so if the length is equal so now if the length is equal in that scenario we need to write the else block here so let me just make the length equal here which is so you can see it contains five elements one two three four five and inside array 2 also 1 2 3 4 5 so now what we want here guys we need to just make a local variable which will store the result so we will initialize it to false here the initial value will be false and now we will compare individual elements here at individual index number so we will compare it zero index with this zero index then we will iterate 56 56 so we will compare individual elements we will make use of a for loop so for that we will declare a for loop here let i is equal to 0 here and then we will iterate through as we know that the length of the two arrays are equal here which contains five elements so we can safely iterate through the length here which is uh, we can say i array 1 or array 2 it doesn't make any difference because the length is equal so array 1 dot length so then i plus plus so simply we will iterate through each element so now we need to compare it so now we need to compare each element value here so now inside if condition here we will say array 1 inside square brackets in order to access in any individual index value we will make use of square bracket in order to access this zero index we will say zero in order to access one we will say one so now inside we are in a loop here so we will put the i value which is a local variable and we will say if this value is not equal like this not equal sign here to the array 2 uh, i value so in that scenario if the values are not equal then we will say return false that's it because the arrays are not equal but if the values are equal inside else block we will return sorry we will make uh, modify the result boolean value to true from false to true we will change it from false to true so now we will iterate through uh, each element so when this for loop ends here just at the outside of for loop we will say return true because if uh, this for loop ends then we can safely say that all the elements are equal so in that scenario we can return true here that's it so this is a simple logic of comparing each element of the array for comparing it if the arrays are equal or not so this is the first function guys so if i just run this function here you will see in the alert statement it is saying arrays are equal because we can say that 45 is equal to 45, 56 equal to 56, 78, 78, 77, 77. So these are equal. Now if I, uh, if the lengths are equal, you can see if the change specific value here at index number, you can see 77 is not equal to 78. So in that scenario, if I refresh here, you can see arrays are not equal. So the function works here for every scenario here so as i already told you this is not limited to numbers you can pass any sort of value let's suppose i pass a different value which is a string value john here at second index so once again if i refresh here you will see arrays are not equal and if i make the second index or also equal to john here so now you will see 45 is equal to 45 john is also equal to john so in that scenario also you will see arrays are equal and if i change this to something else so in that scenario you will see arrays are not equal you can also provide uh, let me change this to again john here you can provide full floating point number as well 77.2 
if I change this to 77.2 so again these arrays are equal here so arrays are equal you can also provide boolean value as well true so this is let's suppose false so as you will see this arrays are not equal so once again if I change this to true here you will see arrays are equal so you can provide any sort of data type inside these arrays it is not limited to numbers strings booleans or floating type numbers so this is the first approach guys that I shown you by using for loop and computing the length of the arrays there is a second way also which is a pretty easy way and I will recommend the second approach if you don't want to write a lot of code here the second method is very simple so I can make it I can just uh, comment this function here comment this so once again we will just this will remain constant here and we will make the function which is compare array this is a function it will have uh, array 1 comma array 2 and now guys you will use the built-in which is a built-in javascript method json.stringify method to compare elements automatically so this will return true false value depending upon whether the array is equal or not so you don't need to calculate the length of the array for that it will automatically compare it for you you don't need you just need to write this line where you can just make use of let statement let result is equal to and uh, here we need to pass array1 dot sorry we need to use the json dot stringify method json dot stringify method so here we need to pass a array here which is array1 so then we will make use of conditional operator 3 equal to signs here so this is a, this is not equal to sign this is conditional so json dot stringify once again we will pass the second array here so depending upon whether the arrays are equal or not this will return the boolean value so here we can return the result that's it so this is only two lines of code here as compared to this logic here you can just decide whichever approach that you like you can use it if i refresh it you will see arrays are equal because this returns a true value this json dot stringify method so both arrays are equal if I change the value here let's suppose so now you will see arrays are not equal so the same result that you are seeing here from both the methods so I think that json.stringify method is a very easy method in order to compare elements of array if you have any sort of situation in programming you should definitely use the second approach json.stringify so only one line of code is required this will just compare the individual elements so if you change the length as well it can also account for that also so you will see arrays are not equal so this was the two approaches that I need to show you guys in order to compare elements of arrays whether they are equal or not all the source code will be there inside video description of the two approaches I have given the two articles link in the video description please like the video and I will be seeing you in the next video